Hey everyone, it's Andy, sitting on my couch in my apartment with a very long quarantine beard and hair that's getting longer because I haven't gotten it cut in probably two months, I'd probably say, when I was back home for the state tournament. So hopefully I can get into the barber soon, but who knows when that'll happen with everything shut down because I need to get a haircut and I also need to get rid of this lumberjack beard because it's driving me nuts. And if I shave it down now, then I'll have long hair and no beard and that would look even worse probably but I uh, just wanted to do a little something different uh, do a video blog instead of a uh, written blog so uh, give you guys a little bit of a life update uh, how things are going out here in Milwaukee I'm an essential worker so I'm still working down here at WISN 12 um, got a great crew that I work with every day all the anchors and producers and behind the scenes people um, working hard every day to try to you know get the best show out there possible and I think it's really showing like our ratings have been a lot better we're still climbing we're still uh, doing good work and I think that's really what's unifying us right now is just the push to try to uh, make the show as good as we possibly can and uh, you know really work together to make that make that happen so uh, I'm really only going out once a week, I'd say, uh, other than work to get my groceries. I'm masking up and I'm, you know, trying to wear gloves and stuff like that so I don't uh, infect anyone else. You know, I think it's more for other people than it is for me because uh, I'm not at risk, like I said, but uh, that virus is everywhere and, you know, anyone that gets it is liable to, you know, really get knocked out by it. But uh, I'm, I'm still doing the keto diet and still doing that uh, some intermittent fasting here and there a lot of water so it's a lot of sacrifice and uh, I honestly don't know how I'm doing it every day to be honest um, it's it's just a grind and uh, but I'm seeing results so you know I guess I can lay off the pizza and candy and pop and all that stuff although I don't drink pop anyways I haven't for like 10 years so I don't know why I said that but I did um, anyway yeah, still doing the keto thing. Um, kind of bummed without sports over here, you know. NHL would be going on right now, playoffs. You know, who knows what the Wild would have done at the end of the year. They look like maybe they might have made it. Not really sure. Um, but, uh, yeah, no baseball, so no Twins, no Brewers here in town. They're a big deal. And then the Bucks were uh, the best team in the NBA, you know, when the season got cut off. So, who knows what would have happened with them? You know, they look like a real fun team. Was going to try to make it out to a game maybe, but uh, that didn't happen. So we'll see if they can resume play and, you know, maybe without fans and at least, you know, finish up their seasons because that would be really cool. Um, other than that, uh, watching, you know, old wrestling right now, to be honest, because I can't stomach the new stuff without the fans because there's <laughs> nobody in the audience to cheer for anything. So can't really do that. Um, haven't even watched WrestleMania yet because of that, but maybe one day I'll get to it. Who knows? Uh, other than that, doing a lot of reading, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of reading, playing some video games, you know, catching up on some shows on Hulu, doing, uh, do, and Netflix, uh, trying to finish up Letter Kenny. I think I got about 30 episodes left maybe. So, uh, kind of a dry show, but it, it's pretty funny about Canadians and hockey. So kind of right up my alley. But yeah, let me know what how you guys are doing. You know, Facebook, text, call, tweet, Snapchat, if that's a thing anymore. I don't really use it anymore, so I don't know. Snap me, I guess, if that's your way to contact me. But yeah, let me know if you if you like the video blog, or let me know if you hate it. That's what I want to know, because then you know you'd be like, oh, this guy couldn't even you know formulate a sentence, tripping all over his words. He looked horrible. Looked like he just woke up which technically I kind of do look like I just woke up even though I already worked today but yeah uh, let me know how you guys are doing because uh, I'd like to know um, kind of my days are consisting of right now just waking up and waking up at about 10 at night and then I go in and I at about 10 30 then I get done at about 7 7 30 so I get home and then I kind of check in and see what What's going on in, uh, up, up in Fargo? I'm watching Mike Capel on the radio with uh, Sarah, Lydia, Janessa, and Marlon. Pretty funny show. I've been doing that for about three weeks now, probably pretty consistently. And then I catch Drew and Sarah with the news updates. Um, so I can keep tabs on everybody up there in Fargo. Everybody's still doing a good job up there. Um, catch shows here and there when I can. But, uh, 
yeah, not as frequently as I'd like to, only so many hours in the day. Probably what inspired me doing the video blog was the Sarah and Drew updates. I don't know, just thought I'd give it a whirl, a little something different, but uh, yeah, let me know how you guys are doing. Would really like to know. But I uh, hope everybody's staying safe and uh, all your family and friends are staying safe. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.